Matt Forehand is a very creative artist whose talents extend way beyond the paint palette and directly into the classroom. He has as much passion for creating works of art that are inspired by his Colombian and South Florida roots as he does for nurturing young artists. Obviously, I feel it's going to be very different uh, between each artist, each individual viewer. Um, but for me, what art does is it allows me to um, consolidate my thoughts and my opinions on uh, place, value, identity, and allows me to put a visual language to that. Kind of like a writer has uh, written language for their thoughts and their visions. Um, and I think the value of that is, is obviously going to change with um, each individual person. I mean, I have people in my studio that look at my paintings and give it a, a, just a straight up answer. Like, oh, I like it. I don't like it. They don't have much input to put there. But there are those moments that I have someone in and it moves them. It, it re allows them to recall a moment um, or a feeling. And those are always exciting moments. I think the earliest memory I have of wanting to maybe pursue art, um, besides my, my parents being very supportive of my art practice and knowing that I had a talent, um, was when I did a, uh, I was probably about 10 or 11, and I did a, a competition for Smokey the Bear. So it was a national forest, um, and it was talking about forest fires, and I did a, a competition that was statewide. And I ended up placing in that competition. I think I might've won the competition actually. Um, that was the very first moment where I was like, okay, so I know I have an ability and a talent. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't really look back on those moments too often now, but um, I will say that my art practice um, really leans heavily on the fact that um, this is one area of my life that I ha I can be proud of and I can have, um, I feel a sense of accomplishment, uh, not so much in my studies early on in my life, but definitely um, later on in my art practice, being able to show my talents and my abilities is, I think it is important to me. Um, I did study art uh, in college, but that was actually my first introduction to the fine art world. Um, all throughout high school, I took some art classes, um, but it was always very basic. I went to a public high school, so our resources and resources weren't great. But um, when I got out um, of high school and I went back to uh, school later in my 20s, um, I took a couple elective classes, a drawing class and a painting class, and that from there, I had um, a, it sparked an interest in me to pursue this. I had a great mentor. It was a professor of mine. And I later uh, transferred to the School of the Arts Institute of Chicago, where I got my Bachelor's of Fine Arts. Um, I think the biggest thing I got out of uh, going to a school like that is the connections I've, I've made with professional artists. And having sit down conversations with these artists, my professors, and um, having them really guide me and uh, mentor me through this process of being a creator. Um, that was probably uh, the biggest thing I got out of going to art school. Um, yes, I have a vivid memory of it. Uh, it was right after I um, got here to Florida, which, I mean, this was where I was more of an individual. You know, we have the uh, BFA show when I was in Chicago studying at the university, but I didn't really feel like that was necessarily um, an art exhibit that I, I felt singled out or felt, um, you know, my family would see me as uh, a true professional. So when I got here to Miami, I had a, an art ex exhibition and um, I invited family and friends and just their 
kind of excitement for me and kind of like, oh, well, this is what you do all day when you go to this place is you create these images. Um, that really kind of like was a very proud moment of, of my life. And um, that, that definitely uh, sparked the thought in my head that I can actually do this as a profession um, and I can actually pursue this uh, throughout my life, later on in my life. I get my inspiration from uh, the environment around me. I, uh, you know, I, my mom is from Colombia um, and she immigrated to the United States when she was about 16 years old. Um, and my entire fam family on her side is obviously from Colombia and they, they came to Miami. Um, but large parts of my life were um, kind of removed from this sense of heritage or culture. Uh, the only time that I have an experience with my Latin side or my Colombian side was when I would come to Miami and it was very short periods. Fast forward to today, uh, I am married to a Colombian woman. Uh, we are both raising our son who is uh, three fourths Colombian or Latino. And um, that really is where I draw a lot of inspiration of exploring this, this heritage and um, this culture that I am, I feel that I'm only just now getting to kind of experience. Um, I think the visual information that I use within my pieces um, comes from the landscape of not only Colombia, but South Florida. Um, I feel that South Florida and Miami has just as much to do with my Colombian culture and heritage as uh, Colombia does. Um, but I definitely draw from the, the surrounding environments um, of these tropical places. That one's a kind of a difficult question. Uh, I would definitely start out by saying it is representational. They are landscape. Um, they have figurative, figurative elements in it, but since I am the one who's creating it and I kind of deal a lot with materials, I would say that um, the style of my work is very abstract. Um, when I look at a landscape, I, I tend to look at the visual intensity that you see elements in the landscape, uh, leaves, shadows, limbs, uh, people, cars, buildings, all those things uh, are, it's visual noise and it can kind of be intense. Just like when you look at a uh, Jackson Pollock, it's very visually intense. When you look at Cy Twombly, it's very abstract, but it's very visually intense. There's a lot going on with it. There's a lot of movement. Um, and that's what I would describe the aesthetic of my, my work. Teaching was something that I've always wanted to kind of pursue. Uh, I, uh, when I went to college, um, originally I, when I signed up for all my classes, I was gonna do the education route. I was, uh, it was just a general education degree. I didn't even know what subject I wanted to teach. Uh, I later on took some art classes and that kind of sparked the interest in art. I knew if I got my bachelor's of fine arts, I could still teach art um, as well. So, once I graduated with my BFA, I always knew that I was going to do at least a few years of teaching first. Um, I think the biggest inspiration uh, that I got from teaching was the excitement of, of uh, discovery for the students. When I teach a pro, uh, an assignment or get, I give a project, the students will always have this excitement about a new idea or concept or technique. And there's you learn as a teacher, you learn just as much from the students as they do from you because students will, um, or at least a few of them will inevitably take some aspects of these projects and kind of innovate a new way of going about it. And that's the exciting part I, I find. Um, there's, there's a really a nice freshness from having all these students have different perspective of these assignments um, and yeah, I think that's just 
really the most the most beneficial part I got from teaching art. First off, I think that the residency is unique in the sense that the artists here at Ulite, the resident artists, are some of Miami's best artists. In fact, I think they're some of the United States' best artists. Um, I, obviously, I they're kind of like my colleagues. I speak to them on almost a daily basis. So understanding the conversations that I have with them, I can only imagine uh, the conversations that the, uh, that the teens um, are having with these artists are, I mean, just as good or if not better. Um, the experience that you get as a young artist to interact with uh, professional artists, I don't think that can really be measured. I went to a public school in a small town uh, in Florida, and I never had the opportunity to be in any artist residencies or let alone even like meet an artist, a working artist. Um, so I think that's like the most beneficial part of the Ulite teen residency is just having this interaction with professional artists who are um, either just co coming out of school or um, have been doing it for years now. The one thing that always comes up to my head when somebody asks me what's some advice you can give me as uh, someone pursuing the art world, it's be true to you. Uh, meaning like when you're doing your work, um, have your own voice or do something that is true to your life experience. Uh, the, I can tell you from experience that, um, you know, I've tried different co conceptual ideas when it comes to painting and, and art making, but nothing really made sense to me uh, until I got into the body of work that I'm working in now. Um, always just be true to your own voice and talk about your own experiences. I know that um, it, seem, it may seem kind of scary to uh, open up to people, but that's what artists uh, are here to do. We are here to give our thoughts and our opinions on the world as we perceive them. For me, I would say research. You always need to be constantly researched. So when school ends, you don't stop studying. Um, that means looking online. At, I mean, you can do anything from looking on Instagram at some artist page or going to your library and checking out artist books, reading through those artist books, um, always creating, even if it's in your sketchbook, and looking for any little art opportunity that you can get. So if you have a job in retail, um, you have to look for those little victories every day that are victories within your art world. I would say um, those victories come when you complete a piece or when you show your work to a friend. Um, it doesn't always have to be selling your work. Uh, for myself, I mean, I teach classes and through teaching class, I meet people and those people have uh, seen my work and my abilities. So they've opened up opportunities for me. And it's just looking for those opportunities and taking them.